and welcome back to the nursery. It's good to have you here and thank you so much for joining me and thank you so much if you are new here and thank you for subscribing. Today I'm just going to do kind of like a mishmash video of what I'm doing in my nursery today. I've had a really busy day. Um, it is super rainy outside. I went to um, the post office and I went to the dollar store and I got back just in time. It's pretty nasty outside. So um, I'm just getting some clothes together. Um, I got a package from a friend of mine and she had some bigger boy clothes that she couldn't use. And so she sent me these clothes and I'm just gonna wash them. But it's like a whole bu bucket of clothes. Super sweet. Um, thank you so much. You know who you are, um, Shirley. <laughs> super, super nice. So she had to send me a kit that I'm gonna do for her. She's been holding on to a kit that she wants me to reborn for her. So she sent those clothes with the kit. Um, I'm getting ready to start on these guys um, today. I'm gonna do some layers on them and um, I'm finishing up these four. I have a couple of cuddle babies on my table and then a couple of regular babies. They just need some blushing and then I can start on their hair. So I'm gonna work on them today and get them finished. And I ran to the post office and I did get some Mary Mail from Miss Molly. And I have some stuff to go out to Molly as well. I owe her um, a couple of letters and I'm gonna cover this. <laughs> Yeah, I'm wearing my slippers inside, it's cold. Um, I got a kit today, I have a few more on the way. So I wanna open that, cause it's one of my favorite kits and this baby is gonna be in my collection. Um, let me see here. I'm gonna turn on the light here. So, um, surely these are some kits that I'm gonna be working on for people that have requested them. And Shirley sent me, I don't know if you can see, but this is the Maddie kit. She's super cute. She purchased her a while ago and has been holding on to her and waiting for me to paint her. But she wants rooted hair on this big old baby, and I do not want to root hair. You know how I feel about that. So she's gonna have me leave her bald. I'm gonna paint her and send her back to her. And she has another artist that's gonna root her with some really dark curly hair. And then um, I did go by the dollar store. I want to show you guys what's in here. Um, I have all this baby stuff from the Dollar Tree. And this is all stuff that like goodies that I like to put in my box packings. So I have some cute bottles. If I do have a baby with hair, I have some brush and comb sets. Um, they have like in their party favorite section, some really cute things that you can use to like decorate the babies box openings with. I like to um, like tie these to things and tuck these in. Um, there's some cute teeters here. I thought these would be cute for some bigger babies, like some toddler babies, but they have all kinds of goodies there, but mostly cute blankets. I love their fuzzy blankets. By the way, this is a tub that I have full of clothes for babies that are going home, but they have the cutest blankets. They have the rainbow ones in again, and they have these cute heart blankets. They're so soft and cuddly. I love doing box packings with these blankets because they're so soft and protective for my babies when they go home. But look what I found. They have this print. Oh my God, so cute. It has um, little koala bears on it and elephants. And look at the panda. I'm gonna use this for Sue Lynn. This will be perfect for her. Um, I cannot wait to use that little blanket for Sulin. And then of course I got some more of the dinosaur ones. They have cute dinosaur ones with like matching bibs. I couldn't really find any more of the matching bibs. It's kind of hit or miss, but they do have bibs um, that match some of these blankets. So just wanted to show you that. Go to your local uh, Dollar Tree or Dollar Store and see what you can find um, for your babies there. Cause they have some really cute stuff. And then I'm just waiting till this afternoon too. I have somebody that contacted me locally and it turns out we actually kind of sort of know each other. Um, they purchased my Joseph kit for their daughter and she really wanted a little baby girl. So we um, have this little baby that we've changed to a little girl. And this little girl is actually in my niece's 
class at school. My niece is her teacher. So small world. Um, and she is actually naming this baby after my niece. Um, her mom told me that she wanted to change the baby's name and change the baby's gender because this is going to be a baby after her favorite teacher. And it turns out that her teacher is my niece. So that is really cool. Instead of doing a box opening, I've got a little bag here of goodies. So we're going to do a bag opening and I'm going to get this little baby packed up in the car seat because I have to drive to go meet them somewhere. Um, they've already adopted her and this kit looks really cute as a little baby girl. I'm so excited. So um, I can't wait to meet them. So we're going to do a meet up this afternoon. And then I have a couple babies here that are on payment plans. Oh, I love this baby's face too. I love Kyrie. This is Alma. I do have another Alma kit that I'm going to do. I have one more left. But yeah, a lot of people have been asking me too um, where I've been getting all my sold out kits, my uh, real born kits. And I purchased them a long time ago. Um, this is the room next door to my nursery and I keep all of my supplies over here and I have tons of kits here. So I have two big bins full of kits and um, I bought them way ahead of time. I bought them before the pandemic because I was worried that I was going to run out of supplies. So yeah, this is where I keep them and then like this is just a bin of like box packing stuff so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and throw some laundry in while I'm painting and turn out the light in here and then take you next door this is the nursery in here so um, I'm gonna get these clothes done real quick and get them washed and then I really want to open a few things really quick um, and take a look at a new baby that's gonna be in my nursery I have sitting over here so we're gonna get that opened up and some merry mail so yeah we're gonna do that too so just so you guys know um, how I make my babies smell so good and they smell so amazing and it lasts a really long time I use these drift scent beads they're like baby fresh scent it's like a in washer scent booster and um, I don't fill this cup up all the way I just put a little bit in you don't need a whole lot um, to make your baby's clothes smell good um, I use those and my favorite fabric softener is this snuggle fresh scent it's hypoallergenic I actually, it's for sensitive skin because I have really sensitive skin, but it smells so amazing. So I use this, but what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put these like scent beads in your washer first and then put all the baby clothes in just like you normally would. Make sure there's no tags or anything on them. Um, I'm also washing all my Valentine's stuff for my babies as well so I can get those put away because I have like um, a bin for clothes that are for the holidays and then you just do your normal um, fabric softener and detergent. use a little bit of this snuggle that I like for the babies and trust me guys even just with those um, scented beads it's gonna smell amazing just with that you don't have to use the same stuff that I do for the laundry detergent or the softener your babies will smell incredible so oh, I have sweet little baby Ava here in her cute little St. Patrick's Day outfit. And I'm gonna open um, this Merry Mail really quick. 
I love the stickers on here too. It's so cute. Molly, by the way, I owe you some Mary Mail. I have two things coming for you, so hang in there. Um, I will mail out my first item on Monday to you. And so you should be getting that very quickly. By the time this video is up, you'll have it already. So no worries. Um, oh wow, I got so many pictures from Molly. Holy cow. Oh my goodness, this is a huge letter. Oh, <laughs> so cute. She did a picture of Daisy May, my dog. She has a dog named Daisy too, and I just love her little dog. And Molly, I love the Peanuts gang, it's so cute. You know I love them from my Valentine's video. Um, she said, show me how to make Reborns and I could be on one of your videos. Love you so much, keep up the great work. Soon you will have 4K subs. Woohoo! love you, keep it up. Please write back some more ASAP. I will, I totally will, I owe you. Oh, okay, so this was page number one. It was backwards. Hi, Misty, how are you? I'm good, I love your video so much. I really wanna meet you and play with your babies. That would be fun and you can be, you gotta bring your baby with you so I can play with her too. And you could see my reborn. Yep, definitely. And then she wants me to show her how to make reborns. Molly, my nursery is my studio. So yeah, this is, I do both here, so that's perfect. And she sent some cute stickers. I love these. You know what these remind me of is I used to play Pac-Man, like Mrs. Pac-Man when I was younger. I'm not gonna talk about the 80s because I'm an 80s child, but that's what those remind me of. So super cute. Oh my goodness, so, so cute. So she sent me the cutest pictures. I have some sweet pictures of Molly, her and her baby together. Look at her reborn. Molly, I love seeing you with your baby. That's so sweet. Um, it looks like I got a picture of her on New Year's. And she sent me some little cat pictures. <laughs> I love these. They have sunglasses. How stinking cute. I love stickers too, so that is perfect. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness. I have a ton of happy face stickers here that she sent. Molly, I'm gonna have to find some more stickers. I have a bunch to send to you too. So we're gonna trade off stickers, definitely. Oh wow. Oh my gosh. I think this is Molly and one of her siblings. I think she just has one from what I know. And they're in the snow. It's snowing where you are. That is amazing. It never snows here in Florida, so I love seeing your pictures. Thank you so much, Molly. This is so fun every time I get a letter from you. Um, I never know what I'm gonna get, so I absolutely love it. Um, we're gonna do a box opening with this baby, so let me um, tell you about this baby. I do have a lot of sold out um, real born kits, but I never thought that this baby was gonna sell out before I could get a hold of it. This is a baby I've had in my collection a few times and every time I've received it, there's been something wrong <laughs> that I've had to fix or didn't like. There was, there was always something with the kit. Um, I've created this baby a million times and always loved it and thought, um, that I would be able to do a million more and I've always sold them. And now that this is a sold out kit and I couldn't find it anywhere, um, I really regretted selling all the kits that I had made like this. And I also regretted selling all the ones I had in my collection that for whatever reason, I just wasn't bonding with them and had to sell them. But I'm gonna attempt to make one for myself for my collection. Um, at some point in time, I'm gonna save this kit and put it away and then create this kit for myself for my own collection at some point. And I am super excited for that. Oh, cool. She sent a calendar. Awesome. So this is an updated rose calendar, I believe. Yep, it's for 2021. I had a bunch of these for uh, 2020 so cute I am so excited she sent this that is so nice if you don't know the rose um, 
calendars. They have all these really sweet pictures of little babies on them. Just adorable little calendars. I absolutely love this. So I will be hanging this up in my studio. Um, I'm just adoring these little, these little pictures. So this is the Darren kit. And um, he's the sleeping newborn version, and this is his little COA. I absolutely love it. I had to pay way more money than I've ever paid for this kit before just to get this baby back in my collection. I also have another baby coming from the same person, and um, it should be here in a few days. And it's also another baby that I sold and I regret selling because now I can't get my hands on the kit. So. Um, I'm going to show you guys this little kit. So sweet. And then we're going to pack up, um, this other little baby for me to bring to her new mommy today. Beautiful sculpt. So this baby is, um, a preemie sized baby boy. And I love that face. That face is so precious. He has like a slightly open mouth. I love every single thing about the Darren kit. I've done the asleep and the awake version several times and I made them twin boy and girl. I've done that in the past and sold them. And I made a couple for people that I knew and rooted hair on one of them and it's beautiful. I miss that kit so much, um, but a friend of mine snatched them up. She wanted it so bad. I love his little hands in his arms. He is a preemie size, but I think what I love about Darren is usually the preemie sized babies are really skinny and he is like a chunky little tiny block of baby. <laughs> like when you put him together, um, his little body and everything is just so chunky like his legs don't look skinny or scrawny at all he even has like little rolls and i love his little feet look at these little feet they're so pretty i absolutely love this baby he is so cute i really love his little closed fist that's one of my favorite features on this baby so sweet I cannot wait. I have so many clothes that I had for this baby that I saved um, because I knew that I would be eventually doing this kit again. At least I thought I was. And then his kit sold out and I just wasn't able to get a hold of anymore and I had sold my last one. So I was super sad. That happens sometimes. You have to be really careful as an artist and as a collector. Um, you know, sometimes you sell your kits in your collection for certain reasons and then you regret it later. And sometimes as an artist, you think, oh, I can make more of that baby, no problem. And um, <laughs> until you find out you can't, <laughs> that it is definitely a problem. So I'm gonna put his little um, certificate in a safe place where I keep all my certificates. And I'm gonna go put this baby away where I keep uh, a few kits here and there for myself. And we're gonna get this other little girl ready to go for the day. So this little girl, she's super cute. I'm gonna put her in the crib because I'm gonna need this area to pack up my other little baby. Okay, so I have this sweet little baby and I have her goodie bag. It's her mommy's birthday. So instead of doing a box opening, we're gonna have to do a little bag opening, but I'm just gonna get this little baby ready for her ride home to her new mommy. And she looks so cute already in this little car seat. And I don't know who I had in here, but they were small. <laughs> I think it was Shiloh and she's a little creamy sized baby, so. This might be a little bit on the smaller side. We'll see if we need to adjust it at all. I think she's gonna be okay in here. She's in good, that's for sure. 
All right, so there we go. She's ready to go. Have a little blinky for her. And she has the cutest little passy that matches her outfit. So adorable. It's raining out, so this will be good to have this cover and everything on here, but she looks super amazing and cute. I can't wait for her new mommy to see her. She's going to be adorable. And I am not going to be able to show um, the meetup, which I would love to do because they did not know anything about my YouTube channel. And I just told her mom about it and to check it out. So I don't know if she would be wanting me to film or anything like that. So I'm not going to do that, but um, hopefully they'll check out my channel and subscribe and they can be new viewers. And she can actually, I think it's kind of cool because she'll be able to see where her baby came from and how she was made. And I think that's amazing. So I'm going to end this video here. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this little day in my nursery and what I've been doing today. And I will see you guys on the next video. Take care guys. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.